What's going on, everybody? I am starting my new Let's Play. Uh, it's not uh, Wizards with Guns, because that doesn't come out for another week or two. I got the days completely mixed up, so we are going to go with Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. I didn't realize this was a prequel, but uh, it seems suiting to just do this first and then play the other one in the chronological order that it, the story is told. So without further ado, let's just go and right into this. That food on the plate looks so good. It's like, damn, it didn't even like get the resolution correct. I don't know if it was pizza or like a slab of raw meat. I have no idea what's going on so far. Hey, where the hell have you been? I've been waiting for you, man. Any updates? Got them on national TV. Listen up. Whatever is happening in Rachel is currently beyond our understanding. Whoops. Hold I it. <laughs> yeah, Foster was too damn jumpy. You were right. I usually am. couple of minutes. I gotta wrap up something real quick. What's she gotta do? She's already dressed. Cause she sleeps in her clothing like a psychopath. Ooh, that... I feel like this is gonna be a hard game to play. Eh, she looking okay. Uh, what does this game want me to do? Take a shit? Do I need to take a fat? Nope. Guess I don't need to take a dump. Oh my god, this actually kind of hurts my eyes. That's a no-go there. Alright, let's try to use game logic. There's a wire, and if I follow the wire... Alright, that's not that. The wire just randomly goes into the wall. Alright, let's go into the kitchen. We just woke up and we could be hungry. That's not it either. Fantastic. Getting off to a great start. Maybe it's this thing. Maybe it's the pizza. There are still no Clearly, it was the pizza. The cause of the terrible accident that took place this morning in the town of Rachel, Nevada. A school bus carrying 40 students from Clover High School overturned, turning what should have been an ordinary school trip into a tragedy. Well, at least it wasn't 50. Two deaths have already been confirmed. Well, at least it wasn't three. A series of unexplained tremors were reported in the neighboring area causing extensive damage to buildings and a growing sense of alarm among local residents. The causes of the incident are still unknown. The town is famous all over the world for local urban legends featuring alleged supernatural phenomena and for its proximity to Groom Lake USAF Flight Development Center, better known as Area 51. Making oh, we going to Area 51? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, we're going to see uh, Cryptosporidium. That's the green light from the DOD. Finally, we're good to go. It's code red. It only took them ten hours to figure it oh out. Oh my god, the lip syncing is out all fantastic. Let me guess. Are we leaving? It's giving me like, you yeah, know, Godzilla vibes. Foster's orders. You know, the classic Godzilla movie vibes. That's what I'm getting. This is fantastic lip syncing. 
What are you doing? Wow, she looks dead on the inside. I don't know what she was looking at. Her eyes drift two separate directions. I abandoned it a while back, but I just started working on it again. What the hell is that? See, I don't know about you guys, but when I talk to someone, I look at them in their eyes. At the very least, I look at their face. These people are like looking in two separate directions when they speak. They're looking at everything but the person. What do you think? Data interchange device. D I D. It detects your location in real time. Oh my god. Are you sure this thing won't rip my arm off? Come on, give me a break. I'll need it to keep track of your ass when you get lost. I'm gonna rendezvous with Foster. Join us at the heliport. We leave this by far is not just like gold standard, you know, voice acting, but this is gold standard everything. You know, gold standard, you know, animations, lip syncing, voice acting. The only thing that's not gold standard is graphics. Look at that shit, it's like a pixelated mess. And graphics like something off the of goddamn Nintendo 64, but everything else, damn. I have no complaints with that whatsoever. Alright, well, let's see where we're supposed to go. Oh, this door's open now, okay. I guess the guy who came to visit, I'm sure he's our friend, but I mean, I guess he just is in the habit of leaving all doors open after he leaves. I wonder what's out there. I also like to leave my windows open during the rain. Oh, is that water or. Alright, I'm gonna take my bet. That's water, and we're not super high up. Like, we are, but, it, like, it, that's not lights from a city, that's water. Alright, am I gonna get, like, a tutorial of, like, oh, okay, at least we know that's aiming. Creative Director, Michael Giano1, I don't know. Getting, like, <laughs> Laura Croft vibes from that position she was standing in. Alright, we're gonna... There's no monsters here, it's too early. There's no monsters here, it's too early. Mother of God, is there something driving above us? Maybe it's like, some like, uh, wind shit. Wait, whoa, 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 what, where are we? Okay, so I can't run so far. I think it's because they want me to look at all the people who made this game. Lead animator, get that guy a raise, holy shit. Senior sound designer. Um, no complaints for that yet. We'll see. Smooth transition, who's the other person? I'm taking we're not the blonde chick, so... Is that like your sister, your best friend? Your sister? Got it, it's your sister. We are leaving you here. Move. I'd be okay with that. Like, why would we give a shit? If they left us here, we wouldn't have to go to Area 51 and fight zombies. Hold that to read. Oh. oh I'm sorry. Boop. Oh, first name, Dal Dalila. Surname. Rias. Military career. Marines. Technical support. It's classified. Espionage and infiltration. Desert shield and desert saber. I didn't know there was a desert saber. I'm not going to read that. I thought it was just a desert shield. Oh, look at the puppy. Oh, can I pet the puppy? Well, this game is trash. It's garbage. It'll never be any good. We should just stop playing it right here. Can't even pet the puppy. I'm upset. I cannot recommend anyone playing this because there is no puppy pet feature, and everyone knows that your game's not AAA unless there's that that one feature of puppy petting hey, a puppy. Can I pick that up? Oh shit! That is one low res shotgun. Leaving the field to the lakes. Grab your weapons. You'll need it. Oh, that's an even more low res MPG 510K. Well, enjoy the paperwork. Let me pick that up. Enjoy the shit storm coming your way. What'd you say? Very funny. Yo, this guy looks like Liam Neeson. Holy shit, they got some actors up in this. Nah, I'm just playing with you. He looked like Liam Neeson from an angle, but after I got up close, he looked fucked up, so... I don't know. 
I don't know, I, I feel a little embarrassed about that. I'm sorry, guys. There you are. While you were doing your makeup, we got the engines warmed up. Commander. I see the Major's in a good mood. Is that a good sign? At ease, Reyes. We have a code red. <laughs> this is a joke, I love it. Maximum secrecy. Destination Area 51. Is she supposed Don't to be surprised here? I, I'm confused. This is an episode of your favorite TV show. When you're ready, some of the mission information is classified by order of the Department of Defense. Oh my god, his hair popped in. Simple. We have to meet a certain Dr. Noah Anderson. The only person who managed to communicate with the outside world following the incident. Yeah, who is this Anderson? I don't have all the details. All I know, he's one of the eggheads in charge of the government program they were working on down there. Codename Project Hoax. I'm no scientist, but I'd say something didn't go according to plan. I'm not a doctor, but the way he's slurring his speech, I'd say, uh... That brain brain well, clot didn't go according that's to exactly plan. Exactly the kind of question we aren't supposed to ask. The instructions from the DOD were clear: meet the contact and retrieve the briefcase. That's what you get paid for. That's all you need to know. We have to collect a package, basically. And a package of a certain value, given that the commander is coming along for the ride. That's correct. My personal supervision was requested. I'll fill you in during the flight. Let's move out. There's no time to waste. Like, all jokes aside, because this, this game is performing as best as it can. Like, it doesn't look bad. Obviously, they could do some... They could use some work. They could do some a little bit, like, of, like, quality of life maintenance to it. Maybe add some lip syncing a little bit better. Less popping. But, I mean, overall, it looks good. So are we just gonna like touch down, or are we actually have a mid-flight conversation? Okay, mid-flight conversation. Worried this encounter might be a little too close. Just minding my own goddamn business. I'm not like you, Reyes. I have a life outside Hades. <laughs> sure. Hanging out at the Blackjack Pub, being an asshole. Hey, hey he said he had a life. He didn't say it was much of one. Alone in your apartment with all of your high-tech crap. Human company is overrated. You're a case in point, Roddick. You'll be glad soon enough to have me around. Well, he's gonna eat shit and die in the first five minutes, guarantee it. Not if he doesn't have to. Something tells me this isn't gonna be a walk in the park. You don't miss a trick, do you, Raddick? Let's say there's a tricky internal issue that makes the operation well delicate from a diplomatic point of view. Give it to us straight. After Rachel, the president sealed the base for all military forces. Nobody can get in or out except his own men. The HCO's people have been on site for a few hours, escorted by a special squadron reporting directly to him. HCO? Why bring in scientists? I'd be more worried about Section 8. Mr. President's calling the shots. He's trying to get a clear picture. Obviously, the secretary's hiding something, but since he's the one who writes the checks... This is a federal communication from the United States government. Caution. Military permits to enter and cross the no-fly zone are canceled with immediate effect. Reverse Sounds like the president agency. won't be welcoming us with open arms. Yeah, if he doesn't sick his guard dogs on Don't worry. We'll soon put his mind at ease. But only Dude, what happened to his face? Secured the contents of that briefcase. That's why it's essential that we locate the contact before them, and if necessary, make their visit a little more eventful. No flight zones are canceled with immediate effect. I repeat, caution. Military permits to enter. I really hope the game holds up better than the cutscenes. Welcome, committee. Reverse your direction of flight immediately. I repeat, any unauthorized aircraft will be shut down on site. Okay, so we're probably going to get shot down. That sounds fun. Pail and shovel. Yay, got an achievement just for uh, starting the game. Alright, darkness has fallen by the time the Hades team 
lands in the middle of the Nevada desert, not far from the Groom Lake military base. The area is under the extraordinary jurisdiction of Section 8, a special unit that takes its orders directly from the president. Their current orders are to deny any access to the facility and to investigate the causes of the mysterious incident that has compromised the entire area. Special Infiltration Operation Sandcastle is go. Alright, let's do this. Wait. What happened to that fence? I just like, I, I don't know why I didn't piece it together. That looks like a lightsaber attack did. Don't keep me waiting. Weird. Base camp looks deserted. That's because it probably is. Move out. Eyes open. Jesus Christ. I think I want to play this game with my eyes closed. I'm about to have a seizure with all this popping in. Oh my god, another cutscene. I was really hoping I could take control. Please don't introduce the monster in a cutscene. This isn't the welcome I was expecting. You never abandoned the base camp. Oh, well, maybe they Something didn't. Must have happened. Maybe they died. Too easy. Okay. We finally got our hands on the... Okay, I can't run again. Okay, press that to equip and unequip the shotgun. Press down to... Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, it's just... Okay, it's essentially like... Resident Evil. Can I take off the pads? No, I can't. All right. We got the shotgun. We're going to just jog our way kind of haphazardly towards her. Actually, we're going to go see if there's anything we can take. Oh, come on. There's a shotgun right there. You can't let me take that? Alright, I'm gonna be 100%. I'm not gonna do well in this game. Yeah, there's no way in hell I do good in this game. They left something behind. Check it out. A burnt laptop. Yep, that sounds this about is right. Real deal. Looks How? like they what? used it to unlock the security system and access the facility. I don't think wires would tell you that, but maybe she's just smarter than I, I thought. I don't understand. It looks like it melted. It did! The control panel is gone. Gone too. I'll have to find another way. So are we like and the tech guy? Too. Like the That's tech why advisor? You're here. Find a way to get us in. Yeah, I okay. will. It's called following these shitty ass wires. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Okay, I'd rather have this boy on my fucking six help me out. Okay, let's see if we can Why would they leave everything figure like something out. Uh, so if the engine's on, obviously that meant they thought they were going to come back. They didn't come back, which means something happened. Let's see if she can piece that together, just like how we did. Let's pick up this file. What the? All right, clearly he's dead. What was that? There's a guy begging for his life. Something's going on. I just intercepted a message from God knows where. It didn't sound good. This is getting weird. Eyes open, Reyes. Uh, is this a saving? Oh, it is. Wow, I, uh... I thought that was like a button I had to push, but in reality it was a saving. Okay. I guess we're gonna keep going forward. Probably gonna have to kill something. Oh, shit! Okay, that got me. That got me. Not gonna lie, that freaked me out a little bit. I need a key to get in. Typical. Okay, I don't want... Okay, what? 
I'm sorry, was there a part of this game that tells me, hey, there's a key over here or some shit? Last I checked, there was not. All that shit burnt up. Oh, Christ, okay. Um, do I have a flashlight? I do have a flashlight. Are you serious? Okay. Alright, what are the odds that the key was all the way back there? Something tells me very slim, but you know, we're gonna check it out anyways. Okay, let's let's thoroughly check this tent this time. Uh nope. I would take those guns and the ammo and the holy fucking shit of course it was right here. Okay, uh Outside of not really thoroughly investigating things we should, things have been getting off on a pretty good foot. I'm going to turn the light back on. I think it lasts forever, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yes, I, I can see. Yeah, uh, let's examine the item. I had to do that first, really. Power supply Hard area. You did that. Spider senses are telling me I can reactivate access to the main facility from there. I'll have to find a way in. Spider eggs. I like it. Wow, she's kind of cringy if I'm going to be 100%. Ooh, look, an alien bobblehead. It's a collectible. I should have known that already. Um, oh no. I'm not going to know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Let's continue. Flashlight's just pointing at that so that we know where... It is. Um, if we come back and we haven't found out what the code is, I'll probably look in that room a little bit. Okay, so a projector screen of a plane, and then there's no point. I can't even go in here, okay. All right, let's see what we can do in this room. Nice. We need something to reboot the system. Yeah, it's looking like under a goddamn floppy disk. Where the fuck am I gonna find that? I can't go in there. I can't go in there. Jesus Christ, why is this the game? The electrical system of the entire facility seems to be damaged. So it's a major <sighs> overload. I'm trying to work out what happened. I'll keep you posted. Okay, get a move on. No, how about I ask the question, why does this game have so many jump scares? Alright, let's see if we can find a goddamn three digit number. It's not in there. Is the room like at least a three digit? Alright, what room number is this? Office. Oh, what a fantastic room number. I'm so glad that they said that. Maybe it was in that room. Not very helpful. And I can't do anything with that. Wow, really interesting. Oh boy. What's that? Uh, what the hell? 43F32 
13, 14, and 23. So you think it'd be like 1, 3, 1, 1, 4, 2, or 2, 3, 2, or 3? 2, 3, 3? We can try it, but that'd be dumb. Was that one three one? Oh, one three one. All right, it's not one three one. I'm skeptical about this, anyways. Uh, one four two. I seriously doubt it's the last one either. That's just two, three, three. Shit, I was really hoping. God damn. The light's on, but I don't see Jack. What type of plane is this? Oh boy, this is maybe the computer. Nothing. So, like, it's not in this room, and I'm tripping. Alright, I'm going to be 100% guys. I don't really understand what this game is trying to tell me. I mean, I actually don't think it's trying to tell me anything at all. I think I'm literally just lost in the sauce at this point. Alright, I'm going to call this video here. I have no fucking idea what this game wants or where the thing is. And if it's in the most obvious spot, I'm going to be super pissed. So, uh, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys.